Um, another question that I got was, um, what are the best softwares for electrical engineer? Um, the most, I shouldn't say the uh, so the most common softwares that I know, or the the, the softwares I use, you know, um, on my workplace are AutoCAD and Rivet. Okay, but if you're starting and you're trying to pick up some software skills, I would I would def I would heavily advise you learning AutoCAD uh, because majority of the companies out there use AutoCAD. Even if you if you don't end up being an electrical on the if you know even if you don't end up being on the electrical side of engineering, you're most likely gonna use AutoCAD too. So. Um, a lot of mechanic, mechanical guys use AutoCAD as well. But anyways, AutoCAD is like the, the, the basics um, where you should start. Try to play with and understand AutoCAD. Even if it's one day a week, if you're young, right? Play with AutoCAD if you can. Try to understand the functions and what you can do and like how to draw and cut and... Uh, create patterns, linear patterns, circular patterns, and things like that. Uh, move things, copy, paste, and in AutoCAD, you know, and like, those will take you far, okay? Um, those will take you far. So AutoCAD is one, and Rivet, like I said, Rivet is another one that's up and coming. It's, it's a more sophisticated system where like it's like it's a cloud-based model that allows all different trades to work on it at the same time like like whatever i work on as an electrical uh, designer on a project um as long as i sync my stuff and the mechanical guys go to open it the next day or whatever they're gonna be able to see my work right away and like say if i install a light somewhere in a, in a ceiling they're gonna be able to um, see my light and then if they're running their duct work or if they're placing a fan somewhere like they're going to be able to co we're like the coordination is, is is they're going to be able to see my stuff and be able to coordinate and place whatever they're placing kind of around my stuff or maybe send me a message hey uh can you move your light because i got something coming down coming down this way or whatever or whatever it is you know um and we and we coordinate that way and and i can look at their equipment to give power and stuff like that like right away without um you know without waiting or 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 asking them what do they plan on installing like i see it right there uh as i'm designing you know so that's rivet for you um not i don't not, like not a lot of companies are probably are using Rivet because it's newer and to my to my experience a lot of older guys are not interested in learning something new so um we're like AutoCAD is gonna be around for a long time <laughs> Rivet is probably more of it's like um say it's like probably like younger companies are using it and like um you know obviously like the younger guys are or picking it up because it's like probably gonna be it's probably gonna replace AutoCAD. It's just more sophisticated unless unless AutoCAD is able to um, to implement some of the same functions and capabilities that River has in AutoCAD, you know. But anyways, I just wanna keep this short. Those are two softwares you can pick up as a electrical engineer. Or maybe I'll give you guys a third. Uh, maybe pick up um, like visual, I, I forgot what it's called. Lighting visual, or visu um, basically is a software that allows you to to do um, lighting layout in a, in, a, in, a, in a room or space. Not just doing the layout, but also doing lighting calculation to see how many foot candles your lights are actually producing in a certain space you know that's uh, a very important aspect of of designing a, a room or uh you know a space um you want to be able to when you're instructing or doing your light placement you want to be able to actually see right within the space and how do you confirm that before these people go in and buy the actual product spending money for them to install it and 
and then you turn everything on and it's still dark in the room you know so it's a very important aspect that um sometimes is overlooked but um that's another one if you have a, if you have the time like some kind of lighting design software i'll make sure i i, I look up the name um, of the one that i use on my uh on my, on my workplace and i'll probably just type in the name um on here but it's like maybe visual lighting visual i think if i if i i i we barely use it but um it's good it's good to have um in your in your toolbox where you can whip out and do a quick lighting calc you know um to uh for your design so like i said i'll type up the name for you um just for you so you can be familiar and know but that's pretty it all th those three softwares can take you very far and give you an advantage against other people who don't know or who are not as proficient in those softwares okay i'll catch you guys in the next video if you have questions shoot them down in the comments shoot me an email whatever you feel comfortable with i'm on instagram um you guys can connect with me on there as well Thank you.